good afternoon hey. ma'am good afternoon how are you i'm great fit as a fiddle thank you for asking and what about you yeah, i am also doing great thank you so much for asking so we are meeting for the very first time so please yes. tell me about yourself okay thank you so much you you gave me this opportunity so as you know i am anisha i am from maharashtra so no, i am homemaker and uh, yeah i have two children so i am very eagerly learning this language because i am very much very very much passionate passionate learn this language so that's why i, uh, I am learning this language Uh, yes this is about me thank you okay yeah nice to hear about you okay let me introduce myself my name is neha mehra and i am originally from madhya pradesh i am connecting to you from gujarat to uh, ahmedabad as my husband is working here so i have been here since 2018 and i am a homemaker i have a daughter and i completed my graduation btech from it and now <clears throat> if i talk about my hobbies i love watching movies cooking sometimes reading and nowadays i am enjoying even conversation with people and listening to conversational videos listening to english podcast yeah this is a little bit about me okay so that uh, you mentioned you mentioned that you are a homemaker so your life must be uh, busy around with doing household chores and taking care of children so how old are your children now my children they are college student now college yes Oh, <laughs> but you look so young. Means, uh, <laughs> do you get yeah. married so early? Yes, yes. When I completed, uh, I have completed my twenty, and immediately uh, I got married. Okay, uh, that's yes. great. Uh, and when you started your journey towards learning English? Uh, now two and uh, half years completed. But uh, one year only, I listen and uh, I jotted down uh, some in helpful videos, so helpful content videos. So I jotted down that thing I did, and after one year, I started speaking. So now one and a half year completed, I have been uh, speaking to people. But last talk about miss. But last uh, five six months, uh, I didn't do uh, miss. I don't have consistency. Uh, yes, because of my responsibility, so that's why I uh, didn't talk. I'm talking to people, but not uh, every day. Uh, earlier, I was talking to people uh, one day, five people, six people, but now there's not some time I'm speaking. Otherwise, I'm not <laughs> connecting. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, have you done graduation or just uh, uh, matriculation? Nothing. What is your educational qualification? Yes, my qualification. My uh, I. Uh, I didn't complete it ten. <laughs> But after marriage, uh, you didn't think that you should uh, do further studies. Uh, yes, but uh, at that time, a very uh, critical situation, very hard. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. uh, if I want to learn it, like, any, uh, if I wanted to complete my study, but very hard because of uh, at that time, you know. So uh, and nowadays wow. uh, we have a gold means we have a so much uh, means you know golden opportunity mobile we can learn uh, anything uh, our mobile means our surround mm. so many things uh, you know so mm. at that time uh, very difficult so that's why I yeah. didn't complete it yeah okay so why you think that you should learn English and yes. what motivates you to learn this language. Uh, no actually no one motivated me i motivated me myself because of uh, always i like to learn uh, something new and i i would i like to do something new in my life uh, then if i do a uh, good thing so others ladies also they will also do uh, they can also do so that's why so so i thought okay if i start learning this language and if i do study so definitely i will do speak one day so then uh, i started my english journey yeah okay so are you uh, are your children studying in english medium school or uh, uh what no. is their medium 
No, there were I means the school is me uh, Marathi medium because my mother mm -hmm. thing is Marathi, and then uh, when they started to going to college, so there were English because my son uh, his subject is science and my daughter commerce, so there were everything in English. Uh, but they are not able to speak because of uh, here is no any environment and no one speak like whatever now I am speaking no one speak here like me so that's why they understand if I ask them anything so they understand and they give me answer but they are not able to speak because of you know who those are people start uh, speaking first time so they feel hesitate if it, if it, they they know how to speak but they are not able to speak because of hesitation. So, but they, yeah. so now uh, one, uh, one year, one month completed, I have started teaching here. I have uh, opened my uh, uh, own institute. So I have started their teaching. So my children also coming there. And they are also teaching, uh, learning there in this language. Okay. So do you force them that uh, only speak in English so that it would be beneficial to you? Do you force them talking in English? No, in English? no, because they, no, I'm not forcing them because they know also how much uh, uh, crucial mm -hmm. this language. Uh, uh, so that's why they know. Uh, so that's why they are coming and they are also telling you teach us uh, this language. So that's why they are coming also. And they are always asking me, you are telling me you speak with us at home also, not only institute at home also. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, so you have started your uh, teaching or yes. you will, you have started. Yeah. So uh, which standard students uh, come to study? There? College, college after 11, 11 to before graduation, I mean graduation also, my daughter also completed, but uh, 11 to graduation. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, uh, after, um, actually, I have started. Uh, uh, I want to uh, for uh, five standard student and uh, means every student. But uh, they are asking maybe if they now just recently I started. I have started. So if they uh, come, so I will start teaching them also. So, but now I have. So, now do you teach them grammar, grammar, or only spoken English? Uh, I want to, yes, I want to teach them spoken part and guide them. But uh, ma'am, uh, who want to learn this language? So that person uh, have to learn this first uh, grammar parts. If they know very well grammar, so then definitely they will able to speak and they will understand what is sentences, which is uh, tense and that is which is sentences. They definitely they will able to uh, uh, able to um, understand. You know, so I'm teaching grammar also, well tense and some basic grammar and uh, models also. So just uh, right now we started. So yeah. Yes. Okay. And speaking so part also. Yeah. Speaking okay, part okay. also, I explain them uh, daily routine, how to say daily routine. So end of the class, uh, I'm asking them say you daily routine. So they are telling daily routine also. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So apart from listening, what else do you do to improve your English? Uh, listening through. Apart from listening, what else do you do? Uh, yes, ma'am. Listening and uh, the writing, that thing I did. But then after that, uh, uh, I realized, okay, now uh, I know a little bit. So uh, after one year, I have started using a hybrid application, their audio call speaking part. So the, that application I have Which application? I Hybro application. Hybro. Hybro. So yeah. on which application you used to talk with people on audio yes. call? Audio call. Okay. And at that time, so what that is app paid application or free, free of course? When I started, so at the time, uh, that is, uh, uh, it, it was a free. But last, I think, through two, three months completed, there were some uh, paid, means, you know, uh, 100 or uh, 200 mm -hmm. per month. And 25 minutes free there, but nowadays I'm not using because of uh, here I, I've got golden opportunity in Skype application and I have a WhatsApp yeah. group also, ladies WhatsApp group. So I, I thought no need to go here and there, so that's why I'm not using another application. Yeah. Yeah. So how many conversations do you usually do in a day? Oh my God, I didn't count because several, several, because uh, I have oh. yeah, several in my channel. you are so much passionate. 
that means you are so much fascinated about this language and whenever you get time you just get the upon grab the opportunity and you start a conversation with people so how yes. do you feel that having conversation is useful for you and uh, uh, what do you, do you learn after having conversation and uh, what is the purpose to maintain consistency or uh, improve fluency or learn different kind of vocabulary uh, means what do you think that what do you uh, get after conversation with multiple people yes ma'am first of all i would like to say first of all uh, if we connect with people uh, front of camera so that thing you know first time people feel hesitate but they if they yeah. joined again and again to connect again and again then automatically remove that hesitation and they speak confidently there because they build up their confidence also so that thing i learned yes so now when i'm connecting with anyone uh, anyone who is those are people fluent speaker advanced speaker native speaker i don't feel hesitation i don't feel scared i'm connecting there immediately any time and that thing i build up uh, yes so i don't have any fear regarding english yes thank you yeah yeah okay yeah that's great cause you mentioned very important point that uh, when we connect with a pill on video call so first thing is that we maintain the eye contact and it's yes. really must uh, that to maintain eye contact and body language cause you know audio call is totally different from video call if we talk yes. anyone on audio call so we uh, always do some work and simultaneously we talk with people so we don't yes. think about maintaining uh, body postures and eye contact but here we uh, really boost up our confidence level when we connect with the people on video call so yes. may i know have you ever connected with tutor or any trainer yes yes yeah. yes yes because of uh, yeah. i uh, i have complete i did i joined actually english yari so i completed their 19 session so i have joined okay. there yeah. and so many people okay. So, how was your experience on English Yari? Because uh, uh, yeah, nowadays yeah, English Yari is uh, so much popular. Everyone is uploading videos, uh, having conversation on English Yari. How was your experience on English Yari? Actually, experience was good, but you know why I joined there? Because of uh, I was connecting people with their uh, other person, but I wanted to connect to their tutor. then if i connect yeah. to tutor so how was how is my feeling at that time and how will i connect and how will uh, i talk to them so that's why I, i wanted to see what will happen so that's why i joined but yes i uh, joined there uh, and uh, i uh, took their 19 session so good experience but uh, you know what uh, now i little bit i know english but at that time um, uh, little bit very low my english uh, at that time but uh, yeah i joined yeah, it uh, it's my experience that if we uh, know something about only then we can join their sessions you know because they yeah. are uh, they are expected from us that at least we are able to converse with them in english so they only polish our language they don't teach us uh, grammatical rules and tenses and all they only polish uh, they only yeah. converse with uh, with us for 25 minutes and they see where we are making mistakes so they yeah. just tell us our they rectify our mistakes as well as they tell us new vocabularies and idioms and phrases so i think yeah. we should uh, initially we sh- should have some knowledge of this language we should have yeah. uh, we should know how to construct sentences and uh, yeah. if we are able to convey our message properly only then we can connect i think cause yes. uh, after that after then it will be beneficial for us what do you think yes, if we know sir, something I- then i remove yeah. that thing which if i want to join any uh, tutor so i before uh, i feel hesitant oh my god that there were tutor so i feel scared uh, how can i join how can i will be attend that class so that fearness uh, i remove so okay. now i can be join yeah. that one and uh, miss even i connected with uh, native speaker also uh, 